and she sees the best in people. She's honest and she's really trying to be true to herself and be the best version of herself. And I really appreciate that about her. Hi, Natalie. Hi, how are you? Good, and you? Good, thank you. Yeah, once more, thank you so much for your time. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Mm -hmm. and, and now we're going to be talking about this amazing series that I'm very curious to watch all the other episodes of Ordinary Joe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Were so, you able to see one? Yes, I was able okay. to see one and now one more. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Yeah. But what attracted you to, to, to this project? One, I think as an actress, it was really interesting to be able to play three, well, the same character, but in three different worlds. So that's a challenge all on its own. Um, the creativity of just the show and, and the, the script as well and the people who are involved. Um, so yeah, I think that's, that's kind of what drew me to it, is the fact that, you know, we, we get to really kind of dig into this character and find little nuances and stuff that kind of make each world different as our life would be if we made different decisions. You, you mentioned that you play, play three versions of the same character, Amy. Mm -hmm. Is mm -hmm. it hard to play three different versions of the same character than opposed to playing three different characters in like three different projects? <laughs> I think, I think it'd actually be harder to play three different characters because at least with playing the same person in a different world or a different parallel universe would be the fact that I'm still essentially me. I'm still the same fundamentals, the same upbringing and the same person that, you know, who essentially I am. There's just different experiences that led me to be, you know, a little different in each world. You know, for example, maybe one world I, I'm more successful and I've gotten everything I want. So I'm a lot more secure. I'm a lot more of like a boss, but maybe in another one, you know, I, I didn't reach my full potential. So maybe I'm a little insecure and a little, you know, um, less, you know, less kind of uh, aggressive about things and I'm a lot more hesitant. And then another world, you know, I'm just a completely person where certain things just don't matter. So there, there's just little nuances that we get to play here. Um, and that just takes a lot of back work to kind of do. But once you're, once you're in it and you get involved in this character, we're shooting episode six right now. So I've already gotten to know her. So it's easy to go in and out. Yeah, but I, I'm curious to, to to know. I don't know if you can say that if you can if you if you shoot the same the three characters at the same day because that you know what I mean like yeah sometimes you change shoot, your mood <laughs> yeah yeah sometimes we shoot two um, sometimes we'll shoot two depending they try not to do three because you know we have different looks um, you know some my hair's uh, in one world my hair is really long another hair my hair is short and in another world my hair is like a medium length. So it involves, I think, for scheduling wise, you know, uh, different things. But that's also another part of building our character that we got to do, you know, how I would look in different ones. For example, Jimmy, who uh, James Wolk, who plays Ordinary Joe, uh, he has like a beard in one life, shaven in another, has another kind of look. So scheduling wise, we try to shoot two, if not one a day. Um, so that makes it a little easier for us, but it's definitely one of those things when you get on set, you're like, okay, wait, who am I? What did I just do? What are we doing in this life? But we all really enjoy this and we are there for each other. And everyone's always like, this is the last time we saw each other. This is what we're doing. So it's a very involved set. Yeah. And what do you like the most about Amy? I like that Amy's a, I think Amy's a really good person and she sees the best in people she's honest and she's really trying to be true to herself and be the best version of herself and I really appreciate that about her and like how's work with James <laughs> oh he's a dream he is so sweet we have a great time this is such good energy on set the same thing with Elizabeth Leo and Charlie Barnett like it, they're just it really is a happy we we're actually talking about this yesterday we were on set and we were just talking about what a happy set it is because everyone gets along everyone's excited to be there everybody just wants to work we've all been you know it's been a very rough almost two years for a lot of people so the fact that we can come back to our jobs and try to create a very happy um safe environment is really important to us and i think we all have the same goal so it's really a pleasure to work with everybody and we're there for each other 
we go over each other's lines we any questions we have we help each other out with everything because you know we're just just trying to make a really good show and give some people something so they can escape to and and just kind of um dive into them and that's why i really liked it because it's so it's different like you have like three timelines that we look forward to to, mm -hmm. to find out what's gonna happen you know so that yeah. i think that this is one of the the plus on the show and i yeah i, I think I, people are gonna really like their people are gonna have favorites i think people are gonna be like i like this life or i like this life or they really they're really gonna have like oh i wish they stay together or we you know they, they're gonna have a lot of opinions and it does like you said give people three different things to look forward to to see what develops in those storylines yeah have you ever thought about like in your life that if you decide not to become an actress what route did you go you would become like another i don't know a yes. dentist a journalist yeah. <laughs> i um i always wanted to be a midwife um all through school all through high school i volunteered at the maternity ward in, in my local hospital and i wanted to just deliver babies um and then then it turned out to midwife so i honestly had this one one thing that just changed my life um completely when my mom asked me as a favor to her she begged me to go to this contest to become you know a, a folks model for a clothing line and i did and it completely changed my life if not i probably would be a nurse still in miami or a midwife in miami um living you know a normal life or who knows who knows where i would have been yeah you know exactly because i don't know how i would have gotten into this business if it wasn't for that particular um that that particular job or experience so i definitely have those what if moments i don't necessarily live in the past where i wish i would have done it or i don't live in it like i wonder so much what it is because i'm very grateful and i'm very happy for the life that i've built for myself and the life that i'm in and the opportunities i've been um, granted i'm very very grateful but it's definitely always like i guess in that gratefulness there has to be an appreciation for that what if. Yeah, what if. Me too. I have a lot of what ifs. Yeah. So Natalie, <laughs> yeah. Yes. So Natalie, I just want to thank you so much for your time once more. It is always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank And you. I cannot wait for everybody to watch it. It was awesome. our show. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you so much. Bye. Bye. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like and subscribe to our channel right here.